A minute. Vanessa and the kids will be here soon. Be down in a minute, Mom. A minute. Plenty of time. Hi, Leo. It's Grace. Uh, look, my daughter Vanessa and her kids are getting here today, so uh, I'm going to have to skip our ceramics class tonight. I know we never actually go. <laughs> but I'm saying we can't do what we usually do either. <laughs> Leo, that's a myth. Your head will not explode. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very happy with my long-distance carrier. What I'm fed up with are these calls. <laughs> Say hi to Leo for me. Oh, and uh, Matthew says hi. Oh. <laughs> Candace Bergen says hi right back at you. <laughs> Leo, oh, who's this uh, Leo? Mm. Oh, that's the guy you see every Wednesday night when you two ditch ceramics class together. Okay, if I always ditch ceramics... Then where did this come from? The Philippines. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I go somewhere or you wouldn't be able to have babes over Wednesday nights. You know about that? I do now. <laughs> hey, you know, what are we doing anyway? It's the 90s. I'm fine with you knowing that I have a normal physical... Uh... Yeah, but sure, and, and I'm fine with you knowing that your mother has a, a healthy, active... Uh... Have I mentioned what lovely work you've been turning out lately? <sighs> An artist can't hear that enough. Well, I better get those upstairs bedrooms ready for everybody. I already did that. Oh, Matt. Not every guy would be thrilled with his big sister and her kids moving back home. Well, I wouldn't say thrilled. But I'm still living at home. I can see why a divorced woman with two kids would need to do the same thing. <laughs> That's very mature of you. And I'm sure Vanessa will feel the same way. Yeah, which sets her up perfectly for the fake tarantula on the bedspread gag. <laughs> Matthew. Oh, what? I'm supposed to forget that she totally sucked all the fun out of my childhood? You're exaggerating. One of my earliest memories is Vanessa yanking a pacifier out of my mouth and saying, Matthew, what's next, a cigarette? <laughs> to this day, every time I see a pack of Marlboros, I have to tinkle. <laughs> Come on, you remind me of your father. The quick wit, right? No, the bladder trouble. <laughs> Vanessa, you didn't have to ring the bell. You live here now. Oh, I know, Mom. I guess I just wanted to pretend for one brief shining moment that my life hasn't been flushed right into the... Abby, we're finally here at this greater what? Yeah, I got chills. Abby, why don't you go up and explore your new room? Fine. Call me when it's time to go away to college. Say, she really lights up her room, huh? <laughs> Listen, just give her some time to settle in. She'll chill out. That's your mom's room. See, already I've taken her mind off her problems. Matthew, it's not going to be as easy as putting a rubber tarantula on a bedspread. Oh, you saw that coming. Look, it's hard for Abby. Leaving her friends, her school, starting something brand new, trying to raise two kids as a single parent. Starting law school at 37, what am I doing? Vanessa? Huh? I think he kind of changed lanes there without signaling. Oh, don't listen to him. You're home now, honey. You just babble away to your heart's content. <laughs> Matthew, what I'm trying to say is that the kids are going through some changes that are going to have to be dealt with. And I'm saying I'm ready to deal. With sensitivity? No, with football. <laughs> Lucas, my man, go long. I'll give it a try. Okay. You know what, maybe later. Much later. I'm taking the kids to their new school. Today? Why not today? Because it's their moving day. You know, in many countries, I believe a legal holiday. Then why don't you go to one and take the day off? I'll get your sister. Go jump in the car. Lucas, your mom like rap music? Pizza. 94.6. <laughs> What?
Matt, um, before I show these to the boss, what do you think of the pictures for your fire story? Hot. The pictures. Um, look, I hope you don't think I'm, you know, forward or anything. I mean, I've only been working here a couple of days. Four and a half. <laughs> anyway, um, would you like to maybe sort of sometime... Yes, absolutely. Oh, good. Great. What did we just agree to do exactly? I don't know, but how's Saturday? Quite open. Hey, bud. Ooh, pictures! <laughs> Better let me have a look-see. Hi, Walter. Ooh. Ooh, tough call, tough call. Well, yeah, I'm leaning toward the one with the big fire hose in the foreground. Tell you what, Lar, what say you and I discuss these after work over, say, a cappuccino? God, I love your instinct on the shot with the big hose in it. <laughs> uh, you do? Sure. It's a fire without a hose, a, a flame without something to make it sizzle. Don't you agree, Matt? Oh, because it's critical, essentially, yes. <laughs> Sure. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, you know, the one with the fire guy saving the little kitty is good, too. Oh, yes! A cat. Oh, they're so primal. <laughs> Walter, why don't you come into the dark room with me and help me decide? No, you pick. They're all fine, completely fine. Well, okay. Maybe next time? I bet she knows she's doing that. Do you think she knows she's doing that? Yeah, well, she probably knows. I mean, yeah, she's a sweet kid and all, but way too blonde for me. Yeah, a guy could take her out on a sunny day and just lose her. My thought exactly. Hey, but hey, you know, if you have any interest, please step right up. Hey, thanks, pal. I owe you. If you mean that, you'll swap assignments with me today. You got the Rotary Club story, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a bad little story, either. Listen, the treasurer's been skimming the dues. Matt, 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 spare me the journalistic hoo-ha, will ya? This is a luncheon meeting, right? <laughs> yeah, so? So? Come on, pal. You still live at home. You don't have to snag a free meal wherever you can. Here, take the Rotary Club story. Bon appetit. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The last time I swapped assignments with you, I ended up interviewing the second hairiest woman in Marina Del Rey. <laughs> Matt. It's over. Let it go. Now, this is just some story about a dolphin stuck near the Santa Monica Pier, okay? Which one of you ladies has the dolphin story? I'm on it, Chief. Oh. And I assume the galloping gourmet here glommed onto the rotary thing. <laughs> just the luck of the draw, sir. Mm. Oh, Matt, uh, take a photog with you. Oh, I think Laura's available. Hey, you're the boss, sir. And if you have to work past dinner, well, go ahead and charge it to the paper. <laughs> Don't get up. Just stop by to get a different jacket. I'm on my way to an assignment. Uh, Matt, Abby's doing a paper for school. Uh, you're a writer. Why don't you uh, give it a look? Okay, I might get in trouble with the union for this. <laughs> Step into my office. Whoa. Exactly. Honey, I think there are two M's in crummy. <laughs> but you got cesspool, right? The spelling is what jumps out at you? Hey, you know what, guys? I just came up with a great idea. Why don't you guys tag along with me on this story? It could be fun. It's the beach. Yes. No way. Oh, come on, Abby. What have you got to lose? You know, besides that great attitude. <laughs> oh, then you did notice a problem with what Abby wrote. Are you kidding? Stephen King writes cheerier prose than this. <laughs> you don't think Vanessa will mind me taking him with me, do you? Oh, honey, how could she mind you doing something as unlike you as this? <laughs> you know, from her point of view. <laughs> 